Boys and girls, we are in Millionaire Central once again. I know y'all see the videos, man. People out there doing these public videos asking the same generic questions, even staging their videos. But you know, when Snooch comes in, I come in clutch. We switch it up. Today's topic is we're gonna ask these millionaire men, what do they prefer in a woman? What's your type? So any ladies watching right now, take some notes and find yourself a millionaire. Also, we're gonna ask them what to do for work, how they got there, and how much money they make. So we're gonna get a lot of valuable information in today's session. And another thing, if you are tired of your current job and you want better, you wanna do better, it is 2024, guys. If you aren't already leveling up, you gotta switch that. Join my private entrepreneurship community, link in the description right here, where we can all connect with each other, learn from each other. There's millionaires in this community that hop on Zoom calls with us, with y'all, every week, where we could ask them any questions that we want. Click the link in the description below. Join this community with like-minded individuals and millionaires. I'll see you there. Let's get this video started. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Hi. What's Fred. your name? Fred? Yeah. Uh, what do you do for work? I'm retired. What did you do when you weren't retired? In the automotive business, yeah. Okay. Uh, what exactly did you do in the automotive business? Parts. Parts for cars. Parts for cars, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What was your position? I was, I was the owner of the company. Owner of the company? Yeah. What is the company's name? If you the don't... company's name was OSC Automotive. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. How much can one make per year doing what you did? What was like your best year? 30 million. 30 million. Yeah, so you're the real company. So you're the real deal, huh? Yeah, yeah. What are some of the tips to own something like that, to be in your position to make 30 million a year? What are like three main things you can tell people to do right now? Well, the first thing you got to do is you got to be passionate about whatever you do. Okay. If you don't have the passion, I don't care what it is on a job, own a company, whatever, you're never going to reach the ultimate. So, so the passion and knowledge, knowing knowing the business, knowing your competitors, knowing as much as you can about about the business. Gotcha. And uh, and then the fundamentals of business, you know, just figuring out what you got to do, how, how you can be better than than the competition. That's the number one thing. So studying the competition, exactly. fundamentals. What else? Uh, that's uh, pretty much that, and hard work. <laughs> hard work. Yeah. And if you do all those things, you can get to. If you find the right opportunity, sure. You know, opportunity is something that um, I think is important. You know, yeah. that you, uh, you you have to you have the opportunity. You got to take advantage of it, and ah. you got to recognize the opportunity. You know, that's. A hundred percent. I saw there was an opening in the market in Orange County. Yeah. And I went for it. You know, and it started with five thousand dollars. Started with five thousand yeah. dollars, and then you turned that to thirty million plus. Wow. Yeah. Now, last last question. Since you're successful, since you've made so much money, what do you look for? in a woman you know like what's your type that's a tough one <laughs> <laughs> honest honest if i would say um you know honesty honesty and integrity honesty and you integrity know, a woman that's, that you can trust okay can be your sole partner forever i've been married for 56 years C congratulations the right you did find a 56 years you said yeah wow so honesty trust integrity yeah nothing yeah. with like you know preference with like looks you know um, it looks are just on the surface it's what's what underneath that counts you know that's what counts we love it. Thank you so much for your time. Perfect. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. How you doing? Good. What's your name? Ryan. Ryan, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Um, I'm in the golf business. Golf business? Yeah. Okay. What do you do exactly there? Uh, I own golf courses. Oh, really? Yeah, we've, ne we've never got that before. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been doing it for? Since 2006. 2006. What, 17, 18 years. Okay. Now, how much can one make per year owning golf businesses? Uh, a golf course can make a million. A million, million bucks. Million. Yeah. How many golf Easy. courses do you own? I have five. Five. Okay. So. You guys can kind of get the idea. Now, how can one get into your shoes, make the kind of money you make? Like, how did you even, like, fathom, you know, like, owning a golf course? Like, what were, like, the, some of the early steps? Uh, you know, I used to be in finance, and the opportunity presented itself, and, um, you know, it was just another business to me. It so, was, it, what in finance were you doing? I was uh, risk management. Okay, and you got into that with a degree or yeah, no degree? Yeah, okay. with an accounting degree. So, it... Right after after college, you joined you joined a bank, uh, accounting firm. Okay, accounting, accounting firm, and yep. then you and then you got an opportunity to own a golf course yes. during that. Yep. Somebody presented the idea idea to you. Yeah, I worked for then I worked for a software company, and that company was sold, and then I, then I bought a golf course. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then, so how much did you need to start start the golf course? Um, couple million. Couple million. Yeah. So you got that couple million from what you were doing before. And by, and borrowing banks, yeah. Bar okay, borrowing banks. Yeah. Any tips on how to borrow money from the bank? You know what, make <laughs> sure your credit score is good, have have your, have assets, okay. um, just just mind your, your financial stuff. 
and if you're, you know, they'll be willing to take a chance on you. Got you. And then last question. Yeah. What do you like? You'll like this one. What do you look for in a woman? What's like, you know, your type? You better not be looking for <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there it is. Somebody that's pretty independent and, you know, call bull****. I don't want to. Somebody that makes me better. Make you a better man. Yeah. Yeah. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Snooge. What's your name? Sandy. Sandy, nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? I manufacture clothing. Really? How long you been doing that for? 25 years. 25 years. Now, you manufacture clothing. Um, is it your company or what is it exactly? <clears throat> I have both my own brand that I make that I sell to like Ross stores. Oh. And then I also produce and manufacture for different companies. That's really cool. That's really interesting. I don't think we ever got one of those before. <laughs> yeah. So you said you've been doing it for how long? About 25 years. 25 years, and you like it? I love it. You love it? Now, how much can one make per year doing something like that in your position? A million. A million, okay. How can one get into your shoes in terms of like doing what you do, making the kind of money that you make? What are some of the first steps? Like, do you have to join a company first to learn the ropes or like? It's probably best. I started working at Billabong back in the day and I worked oh, my way up through the Billabong, company. Billabong, yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> um, I started in the warehouse. Yeah, okay. Um, doing fabric and trims, and then worked my way up to domestic production, learned all how to do domestic production, worked my way up to import production, and then started traveling overseas to do factory evaluations oh. um, and learning all that. So, so that just like, it, that's how it transitioned. Okay, yeah. now last question. What do you look for in a woman? Like what's your type, qualities, all that? <laughs> I, have, I have a fiance right okay, now. Okay, so. congratulations. Um, my type, tall, blonde. How tall? She's the same height as me, six okay. foot. Okay, six foot. Okay, <laughs> N not any shorter. Nah. Okay, what else do you like. look for? So blonde. Uh, intelligent. Intelligent. That's a good one. Tell and uh, personality. She's personality. Be funny. What do you do for work? I'm semi-retired. What did you do when you weren't retired? I was working in healthcare. Healthcare. Are you able to say exactly what you're doing? Uh, well, I did lots of things, including running a company. Running a company, okay. Are you, are you able to say the company name? Uh, no. Now, what exactly w was it? Like, what did it entail? We manufactured medical devices. Wow, okay. And you've been doing it for how many years? 43 years. 43 years. Now, how much can one make per year doing something like that? You can earn over seven figures a year. Seven figures a year. How does one get into that field? Like, do you need any degrees? Do you need to go to like school? Do you need to meet the right people? Like, how did you do it exactly? You have a, an affinity to science. Okay. Science helps. Depends on what door. I entered in the finance side, so working the finance organization up through the through the several organizations to the point. That okay. We got to run the company. So. Okay. Cool. Now, last question: What do you look for in a woman? What's your type? Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> that type right there, which is uh, uh, committed, pretty uh, great uh, mother to children, a uh, great example to a lot of people and a friend to many. Yeah. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. How are you, Snooge? Kev. Kevin, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm in the banking business. I actually finance a lot of the brands. There. For real? Yeah. So, so what's your position there exactly? Uh, I manage the western region for a group within the bank that focuses on consumer products. Nice. Now, how'd you get into that exactly? Uh, you know, uh, it was a good way to make a living and it was kind of fun dealing with, you know, on the west coast we have a lot of great uh, brands out there. Yeah, no, for sure. Now, how much can one make per year doing that? Can I, can I guess and you just say higher or lower? 500000 uh, Higher? No, it's somewhere. Okay, so okay, we'll somewhere. keep it at that. What do you look for in a girl? Like, what's your type? What are the qualities that your wife has that maybe some people can understand I, I to look think, for that? I uh, think intelligence, beauty, and a great sense of humor. Sense of humor, okay. Are, are those the top three? I think so, yeah. Anything else you can tell the audience? Uh, she has to be very understanding when her husband does things that aren't quite the smartest things to do. Yeah, I like that, <laughs> I like that one. okay. Anything else you want to leave to the, to the people watching in terms of to get into the position that you're at, making the kind of money that you make? You know, besides like, oh, working hard and whatnot, like what are some of like the tips and tricks to be where you're at? Find the people in an industry that are really good at what they do and kind of align yourself with them and learn. Yeah. You can't be somebody that, uh, that thinks by virtue of going to school and getting a specific type of degree that you can automatically get into a position where you do really well. Yeah. You gotta find the right people in an industry, align yourself with them and learn from them. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Mike. What's your, Mike? 
Nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Uh, professor, UCI. Oh, okay. We never got a professor yet on this channel. Now, really? Yeah, not yet, not yet. So, what do you what do you teach? I teach molecular biology and biochemistry. Okay, one of the subjects I you have a tough so time well. with. Yeah, <laughs> have a tough time with. Now, how long have you been doing it for? Thirty eight years, just retired. Thirty eight years. Do you like what you do? Yeah. How much can one make per year doing what you do in your position? They make a lot of money. How can one become a professor like you? Do what you do. Good. So go to school, regular four-year degree, or no. okay, what do you need? You need to get an undergraduate degree. Okay. You need to go to graduate school and get a PhD. Okay. And then if you're in science, you have to do further work called postdoctoral work, and then you can start start applying for jobs. Got you. And then that's kind of how you did it. Yes. What do you look for in a woman? and a girl. Say it out loud, some of the qualities. Intelligence. Intelligence, okay. Personality, okay. and of course, beauty. Okay, my man, thank you so much for your time, All appreciate right. it. How you doing, sir? I'm Good. Snooge, what's your Scott. name? Scott, nice to meet you. Nice what do you do for you. work? Uh, I'm in real estate, wealth management, that kind of thing. Okay, how long yeah. you been doing that for? 25 years. 25 years, yeah. so what's your position exactly there? Like, uh, I've been a trust officer, I'm in financial planning, I kind of dabble in a lot of different things. Now, how much can one make per year doing what, what you do, best year? 500. Okay, 500, okay. Now, how can one get into your shoes? Uh, well, my route was I went to college and then I went to law school and I didn't want to practice as an attorney, so I ended up going into the banking side of things. So, my law degree kind of helped me out. In that so, degree, okay, and then once you graduated, how did you get into like the real estate wealth management? Um, it kind of just evolved. I took kind of a lower level job as a trust officer at the mm. start. And then I kind of worked my way up through the bank and they gave me more responsibilities. So I started learning more about other things. That makes sense. Yeah. And it just all fell into place. Yeah, kind of okay. just, yeah. Okay, now last question. You'll sure. probably like this one. What do you look for in a woman? What I look for yeah. in a woman? I don't know. I like somebody who's funny and has a good personality. Funny. Okay, good personality. Mainly, I just like somebody who's nice. Someone that's nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Jeff. Jeff, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Uh, retired. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do when you weren't retired? Uh, physician. Physician. Okay. And you and you did it all your life. Yeah. Okay. Now, what did you practice in exactly? Urology. Urology. How much can one make per year doing that? Three hundred thousand dollars. Three hundred thousand. That's really good money, by yeah, the way. Very yeah. Very good money. Now, how can besides school, right? Because I know you had a lot of school. What are some tips for somebody that wants to be, you know, in your position doing doing urology? What are some tips you give them to get I, to that point? I think the key is it doesn't happen overnight. You don't make three hundred thousand dollars by just saying I have a good idea and want to do something. You have to study hard, have long-term focus. I think is what I would say. Long-term focus. Yeah. How, what are some of the tips of keeping long-term focus? Um, good balance in life. Good balance. Okay. I think you know my big word is balance with uh, you know faith, family, friends, work. I mean, keeping all of it and, and looking at the long the long play. Gotcha. And yeah. last question. What do you look for in a girl? In a girl? Yeah, in a woman. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. look for someone who can be a soulmate, who shares similar interests, similar beliefs, similar goals. Um, I think that's it. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Snooge? Yeah. Nice what's, to meet you. What's your name? Joel. Joel, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. What do you do for work? I was in the insurance business. Really? Yeah. What was your position there? I was a uh, assistant vice president. Now, how much can one make per year doing something like that? $150,000, $200,000 a year. Okay. Now, how does one get into that position? Do you start from the bottom? Start from the bottom. Is, is that what you did? Yes, sir. And then work your way up. Yes, how sir. long did it take you to get there? A lot of years. 10 years or less? Well, at least 10. What do you look for in a woman? What do I look for Quality, in a woman? like what's your type? <laughs> He's thinking about this. <laughs> That's tough. Um, look for somebody who's, who's sensitive, who uh, is mature emotionally, who's obviously attractive. Um, both inside and outside. Yeah. And uh, looking for a good partner. Yeah. Partner. What makes a good partner? Somebody where you have mutual goals and uh, we're both looking to, to meet the same goals and uh, strive to uh, work together to, to that end. How you doing, sir? I'm Snooge. Snooge, nice yeah. to meet you. What's your name? Scott. Scott, nice to meet you. What do you do for work? Uh, I manage the sales team for big equipment, capital equipment. Okay, it's, what is it called? Uh, food processing equipment company. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, six years here, but I've been in the industry 30 years. Nice. Now, how much can one make per year doing what you do? A few hundred. A few hundred, though. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, 
How can one get into that industry? Like, how, what did you do exactly? A little sales job, just compounding. Mm. I've been doing it for 40 years. Okay, do you have to start in a specific company do you recommend or? Industry, find an industry. Okay. Yeah. Now, find an industry like food or retail, maybe not the best thing, but food. Any companies that you recommend people can look for? Top of the head? Uh, I think software. Software, software. related AI. That, if I had, my son does that. Okay. What is your type in a woman? Like, what do you look for in a woman? <laughs> Man, I've been married for 37 yeah, years. Yeah, no, for yeah, sure. Curly hair yeah. like her, yeah. Okay, yeah. What's, what are the, some other qualities out loud? Oh, like you real, say? not fake. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you want real. Yeah, she's real. You want not real, fake. not yeah. fake. Kind of down to earth, not about material things. Not about material things, okay. Just real, authentic. What do you do for a living? Disabled. No, I got injured, so... How did you get injured? Poor joint replacements. Osteoarthritis oh. injuries. Oh, I'm sorry to hear, yeah, man. No yeah. worries, man. Did you ever work or before I that? I worked for the state of Colorado. Oh, okay. What did you do? I was a lieutenant for the Department of Corrections. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you for your service. It's hard sometimes, man. Pain is debilitating. Um, you gotta, I think, you can find pain. God, it helps. Family, not everybody has family. Family's, you know, pretty important. Yeah. For me, having a purpose. You know, so when you lose that, it's really hard. Yeah. The ability to provide for your family, things like that. There's a lot of things I can't do. So, you know, you got to stay positive. But, uh, try not to get too much in a rut. What do you do to kind of stay, like, you know, to move past through it? We have a business. It. My wife oh. is a wedding coordinator, so I, I try to help. Oh, so, what, so you, wedding? Yeah, she's okay. what she does. Okay. Now, if you don't mind me asking, like for the business side of things, um, what's like monthly revenue look like? Is it like an over six figure business or? It is. What's the name of the company so maybe people can find you? Isabel Klein. Design. Isabel, say it again. K-L-I-N-E Klein. Okay, so Isabel Klein. Design. Design, okay, dot com or? Yeah. Okay, dot com, check it out guys. Yeah, yeah. Now last question, yeah. what do you look for in a woman? What's your type? I've never cared about age for me, it's compassionate, caring, somebody who's gentle inside, you know, but yet strong. My wife is a very strong woman, but uh, gentle creature, people love her, you know, uh, that's everything, man, your heart. Yeah. Your heart. I've never been attracted to loads, man. There's just got to be something in there, and for me, it's love, compassion, understanding, you know. Someone that's going to be there for you during your rough times, and yeah. she's, she's been there for you, huh? Been there a lot for me. Yeah. Been there yeah. for each other, Wow, so. I love that. One of your best friends. I miss her, man. She goes to the grocery store, I miss her, so, you know. That's that real love. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, ladies. Y'all heard it here first. If you want yourself a millionaire man, a rich, successful man, take some notes. A lot of these people are in long-term relationships. I'm talking 30, 40, 56, 70 years. Not 70 years, but like 50 years, that's crazy. Now, these qualities that they mentioned, seems like they're living a very great life and on top of that, have a great relationship. Some of the qualities that we heard, great communication, right? Intelligence. Of course, attraction is one thing, but having a good heart and soul, being there for you, being understanding, being supportive, having a kind soul. All these go a really long way. Girls, what do you look for in a guy? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, anybody watching, what do you look for in a woman? Remember y'all, this life is too short. We are not promised tomorrow. We are not promised yesterday because yesterday does not exist. All we have is right now, right here. Where my two feet's at right now. Focus on this exact moment. So all the young men watching, if you out here chasing girls and not getting your priorities straight, like you spending money at the clubs, going out to the bars, and you're not doing what you need to do, you are wasting your time. You are just living to get disappointed. Live this life to be the very best that you can be. Do not waste any more time, okay? If you go after what you want in terms of, you know, priorities, responsibilities, building your career, the right woman will fall onto your lap. Energy is a big thing. We out. Want. You tell me I'm something you need. But baby, you know that I'm bad for you, yeah. Why you gotta be so naive? If I treat you like one I don't want, then you know I'm just so hard to please. I lie to your face again.